One week since the Hinton House fire that claimed the lives of two children. Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders was at the Kroger in Hinton today as the community came together to heal and show support. The hot dog and bake sale fundraiser started at 11, but the line formed before that. For some, it was a way to show their support for a family they never knew. For people like special education teacher Diana Price, who had both Tyrone and Andromeda in her classroom, it was a way to feel connected again. These things are the last things I can do for them. And so just to know, and Tyrone would have loved being the center of attention because he loved attention. So for me, it's just, um, I guess, a way to connect, really connect with him and the community. Our community is amazing. After the devastating house fire last Saturday, the Hinton Kroger organized the benefit to help raise money for the funeral costs. This is just one of the ways local organizations have been pitching in to help. Well, I volunteer in the community, and I couldn't imagine losing two children um, in, in, in such a devastating uh, tragedy as they did, and to lose everything in their home. So I knew that we needed to do something, and Kroger is, you know, been here from in the early 70s, and uh, we've always helped the community, so I thought it would be great that if we just did something really big. Just down the street, more money was collected. Volunteers at Lifeline Church washed cars and the Hinton Police Department set up a charity checkpoint, stopping drivers and asking for donations. It, it's such a sad situation that happened to the family and, and we as a police department, we want people to understand that it's not about writing tickets and arresting people all the time. We're here to help people. So, you know, that's, that's what we're out here doing today. While the healing process continues for the family and for the community, those who knew the children are working to show the type of kindness they did on a daily basis. They were great kids. They were just, uh, there's not even words to really describe them. They were the kindest, most caring children I've ever seen in my life. They were just honestly kind. In Hinton, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch. All proceeds raised will go to the Ronald Meadows Funeral Home where the services will be held. Arrangements have not been made yet.